Paano yun? Oh! Oh my God. Bale, bale, bale. I really shouldn't be doing this. You know, a lot of companies have announced some really cool new tech coming out this 2022. And I thought it'd be fun if we checked them out together. And maybe, just maybe, we'll find some new upgrades for our homes along the way. This is the first time I'm gonna be watching any of these videos today. So any reaction is from me just totally geeking out. Welcome to Next Upgrade, where we also upgraded our set. Do you like it? Did you notice? Let us know in the comments below. We are your ultimate guide for upgrading your home into a smart home. If you haven't liked, subscribed, or hit that bell button yet, there's no better day than today. Let's see the goodies that 2022 has in store for us. All right, it's reaction time. 2022 is going to be a very, very exciting year for tech, as we all know. And a couple of new pieces of tech have been announced already, some of which in CES 2022. And uh, our team over here at Next Upgrade have chosen a couple of videos for us to react to. Let's get into it. So first up, we got the Novetto N1 Invisible. Introducing the Novetto N1. You hear your audio, others don't. How does that even work? You feel like you are face to face. I just don't understand how this works at, home, at all. So that was the Novetto N1 invisible headphones. Okay, first of all, and again, how do they do that? I, okay, may video pala, may explainer pala sige ito. Let, let's see. Transducer arrays generate ultrasonic waves being formed into two focused pockets of energy just up. First, before I forget, I, I just wanna I just wanna note that that they're they're saying something like even while exercising, listen to your music or whatever without your headphones getting in the way. Uh, I think that's that's a huge deal because if you're exercising the way you should and you, you actually break a sweat, you're gonna end up having to, you know, wipe your ears or whatever it is. And sometimes that'll cause your earbud to fall out. And the next thing you know, that disrupts your whole workout, right? Um, but with this, it's really like, there's nothing blocking your ears. Uh, so apparently there's, there's like a, a receptor or something that you put um, on, on the monitor. It'll see where your ears are, and then it will adjust how much they're transmitting in this side and then that side. Para balance pa rin siya. <laughs> to, to my understanding, parang ganun siya. Which is unbelievable technology. Ito nga pala. Hygiene. Okay? Imagine you want to share what you're listening to with someone else, but you're outside or something, right? And you just want to be safe. So instead of all these different points of touch and having to disinfect and everything, you can just type in your computer or your phone to change to that person. Is that what the technology will allow also? I don't know, but it seems like that would be a possibility. And if so, that would be quite useful nowadays. I'm blown away. As a sound guy, I'm blown away. All right, up next on the list, this has been making the rounds online, uh, The Freestyle by Samsung. I love the music they use for these things. Ah. Right off the bat, as a content creator, it showed there like if you have a blank wall, like a blank white wall, you project whatever background you want for your next video, right? Okay, 180 degree cradle stand. Oh! You know, earlier I said, you have a white wall? It said here, no white wall, no problem or something. Ah, uh, that part I really love. Um, I, I mean, I really shouldn't be doing this, but I, I do binge watch series in bed. They say that you shouldn't do that if you wanna get a good night's sleep, uh, but I, I can't help it, right? But as someone who, who ends up doing that, and I just hold my phone up like this, if I were to have a projector instead, let's say in my bedside table, projecting up on the ceiling, ah, oh, that'd be perfect. Can I just say, I'm video na to. I like whoever produced this video. Uh, so you can, you can place it on, on a lamp, 
or let's say like a ceiling lamp or a chandelier or something like that. Uh, so if you have so if you have a, a table and you want to show like a presentation or, or something like that, or you want to feel more minority report, you can you can place it up here and then it'll project your presentation down here. Hi Bixby, turn off the freestyle. Beautiful. Ah, uh, these guys make videos so well. We've actually featured some projectors here on this channel, such as from Anchor and Xiaomi. And now, Samsung has one in the game as well. And it's really nice to see Samsung going into the space because as we know, Samsung monitors, Samsung TVs are just top notch. So I'm sure that you can expect a great quality as well from the projectors. Okay. Price-wise, this will set you back just about the same as a high-end smart TV, okay? Uh, but now we have to ask if this is worth the investment. Well, number one, are you someone who values space saving at home? Are you a condo dweller such as myself? Needs to take space wherever I can get, you know? Uh, are you a content creator as well who wants to project images for your photos, for Instagram or your YouTube videos, etc., right? So now, if you value mobility, portability, and versatility, then this might just be a worthy investment for you. In the past year, one of the most inspiring films that I've seen is Bo Burnham's Inside. If you guys have seen that, um, you would know he uses projectors brilliantly. He uses it for music video, basically music videos, and all around content creation, right? Ever since I saw that, um, I wanted a projector for myself for that reason. And uh, to watch movies and series on my ceiling in my room. <laughs> All right, up next is the Moen Smart Faucet. Let's see. And for the busiest room in your home, our Smart Faucet's voice control and touchless voice technology control. makes life easier. <laughs> if your hands are occupied or messy, oh, wow. are you concerned? Okay, so voice control for your faucet. That's so interesting. Like, hey Google, turn my faucet on. <laughs> wow. Uh, and there are touchless features. I saw him sort of like hovering his hand over the faucet and then it stopped it. If, if you were a martial arts expert, you would love this for sure, right? Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Hey Alexa, ask Moen to give me a half cup of water. With your voice. Oh my gosh, measurements. Okay, so they said, hey Alexa, uh, ask Moen to give me a half cup of water. Oh my gosh. So this changes the measurement game, okay? You don't need measuring cups anymore. Well, with water, anyway. If you're a coffee connoisseur, this might just be for you. The coffee connoisseurs I know are so particular about ML, you know? It has to be exactly 16 ML uh, and this temperature, you know? So for exact measurements, I think this would be great. Swipe left over the sensor to warm the water to hot and wave to the right over the sensor to change Temperature! But the temperature guys! Oh my gosh, can you imagine? Okay, so exactly, coffee connoisseurs. <laughs> Swipe left if you want it to be hot. Swipe right if you want it to be cold. So let the man like to swipe left, Jen. Alam na. I'm just kidding. Wait. It's wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so there are actually a couple of smart faucets in the market already, and they are considerably more affordable. But if you were to get this Moen's smart faucet, for example, you would get a number of benefits. You get the motion sensor, you get voice activation, precise temperature control, and custom presets per plant. So you imagine, you can say, hey Google, water my cactus. Hey Google, Water my prayer plant. And there'll be different amounts of water per one. Okay, so what are the benefits of owning a smart faucet? Well, number one, it could lead to savings with your water bill. So you know when you're cooking and your hands are full but the faucet is still running? This way, even if your hands are full, you can still turn the faucet off just by waving your elbow. Another benefit would be hygiene, right? Less germs because less points of contact. You don't have to keep touching the handle soaping, etc. All you have to do is wave or use your voice. I can definitely see that owning a smart faucet can elevate your kitchen experience or even your cleanup experience. As someone who doesn't like to do dishes, 
maybe this will make me like to do my dishes just a little bit more. All right, so up next, we're going to check out the Asus ZenBook 17-fold OLED laptop. OK. That's so cool that the city is folding. <laughs> OK, so it says here, OK, unrivaled portability. And it looks like it has this leather flap over here. Uh, is that the keyboard? Or is the keyboard, like, separate? So basically, it's a lot of things. So it's like a hybrid laptop and tablet. The keyboard can be on top of the screen, the yeah. second part of the screen. It's a whole thing. It's a lot. OK. See that? So look at all the different modes. Like, how, how does that even happen? How does it even work? I don't, I don't get it. So you have your on-screen keyboard mode, PC mode, book mode. Very interesting. Laptop modes. So this keyboard that's on top of the second screen, uh, and it has a touchpad over there. You can use it in tablet mode or in extended mode as well. Uh, this looks intense. So we're in the age of foldables. And it's nice to see that Asus is upping their game with the ZenBook 17 Fold. Hands down, it has that wow factor. But is it too ambitious to have its own specific market? Well, the best way to tell is for us to have our hands on one. So Asus, the Kenamei. All right, and last but not least, we have the BMW iX Flow with e-ink technology. Let's check it out. BMW customers may change the color of their car with the push of a button. Oh, wow. In the case of car sharing, if a car is free, if it's clean, oh. if you've lost your car in a parking lot, we can make it flash so you can Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. So, so she mentioned something very interesting. Like, let's say you're the driver in a ride-sharing app. If you want to let people know that it's vacant or you can have passengers, it can be one color. And then if you're occupied, it can be a different color. Uh, and especially useful for me, if you forgot where you parked your car, you can make it change color and kind of flash. So that way, in the sea of cars, you'd be like, Oi, new akin. By changing color, we can change sunlight reflection and thus change the thermal properties of the car. I, I did not expect to see a color changing car today uh, in, <laughs> in the list of things to watch. So obviously, this is my first time to see a color changing car. Uh, I've been told that there are color changing cars in the market right now. Um, but. This one is very interesting, especially because of the e-ink technology. I'm someone who uses an e-reader. It means less eye strain because, you know, the lack of LEDs and everything. And it's very, very power efficient as well because it only uses power to change the ink. Once the ink is there, it doesn't take any power to keep the ink there. We know it can turn black and white, but what I'm seeing in the future is this can be a mode for expression for the day. So now let's talk about sustainability and energy consumption. Here in the Philippines, we have two seasons, Tag-ulan at Tag-init. So when it's hot, you don't want to be going out with a black car because that's going to attract even more heat. Attracting more heat, the car would need to use more energy to cool itself and to cool you. So in a tropical country like ours, if you want to keep the heat out, keep the car white. Man, tech is amazing. And that's just a little taste of the cool tech that 2022 has got in store for us. It looks like it's gonna be a year for some really awesome upgrades. Good thing we already have the solid essentials down for our smart home to elevate our lifestyles. Okay, yeah, it's easier and more fun to transition our homes into smart ones. Are there any other devices you want us to react to? Let us know in the comments below and feel free to tell us then if you wanna see more content like this or if there's another type of video you wanna see us do. We love trying new things out. And make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell button for notifications. We drop a new video every single Sunday. See you, neighbors.